All right, here's a little snack crack review. So we got here these uh, bark thins. Now, I was first introduced to these um, at Costco. They had a bigger, uh, a much bigger bag than this, and um, probably like three times the size. And I want to say it was the mint version of it. Um, you know, definitely hipster marketing, you know, snacking chocolate, like, you know, I guess you have baking chocolate, yeah, but I'm pretty much sure every other type of chocolate is going to be uh, snacking chocolate. But it's pretty cute. Of course, they um, have their very hip, uh, you know, non-GMO and fair trade and all that good stuff, almonds. Um, sea salt, you know, I'm, I always laugh when I see sea salt. Pretty much every salt that you're going to encounter uh, originally came from the sea. Even if they got it from uh, underground, it was, you know, sea salt a million years ago or whatever. Um, as if that makes a difference that it came from the ocean. Actually, the ocean's pretty dirty these days, but anyway. So you can see on here about, you know, 220 calories per serving. Um, that's a pretty good bit of calories for that amount and uh, but that's to be expected it, it's actually pretty good I have to say I give it a uh, I, I give it a solid a solid uh, rating as far as the flavor and everything goes you can kind of see here you know does it look like the picture well I don't know pretty much you know I think the picture here really Tries to accentuate a whole lot more uh, salt and whatnot in there. Let's pull out a few more pieces and see how. There's one big piece left. I, I did enjoy eating it, I'm not going to lie. So here's a, a much bigger piece. Um, you know, is it accurate to the packaging? Yeah, I guess so. Take another little bite. You know, yeah, it does have a good amount of almonds in it. It is good quality dark chocolate, and uh, yeah, I'm going to eat the whole bag, so definitely it does get a whole bag rating. Um, this was at a little hippie uh, high-end convenience store, Birch Market on Folly Beach. It's pretty expensive in a little market like that. It was about five bucks, which I do find to be pretty expensive for something like this, but um, you know, it is quality. And uh, very tasty. And it's non-GMO. Fair trade, so whatever. I uh, give it a whole bag. Thumbs up.